Subscribe to Film Companion for your film fix. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Pati Patni Aur Wo is a 1978 film about a married man who has an affair with his secretary. When she first walks into his office, he stares at her breasts and imagines undressing her. He also says, "Aap jawan hain, khoobsurat hain, aapki figure bahut achhi hai." In other words, this is exactly the film that you don't want to remake for our post Me Too times. And yet, writer director Mudassar Aziz attempts to deliver a reboot that's lively, funny, and at least superficially progressive. He doesn't always succeed, but there's fun to be had here. The original film stance was that Ranjit Chadha has an affair because boys will be boys. Men just aren't designed for monogamy. In one scene, Ranjit tells his friend, "Orat ek pak me ek aadmi ko pyar kar sakti hai, aur aadmi naam ka janwar ka dil itna bada hota hai ki ek pak me kahiyon ko baat sakta hai." But Mudassar and co-writer Jasmeet K. Reen want to do better than this. So they create circumstances that lead to PWD engineer Chintu Tyagi's detour from his marriage. Chintu is a pliable, tame middle-class boy whose father, whom he calls Hitler Tyagi, controls him. This is in sharp contrast to his wife Vedika. In their first meeting, she speaks frankly about her ex-boyfriend's sex life and declares, "Bas thoda high maintenance hai hum emotionally." She is a woman who charts her own path. In a cleverly done sequence, we get a sense of how their marriage is progressing through Chintu's downgrading lunchboxes. From elaborate meals, it goes to sandwiches and biscuits because Vedika is now busy with her own job. Over three years, a humdrum domesticity sets in. Enter Tapasya, who, with her big city style and wind-blown hair, embodies the excitement that Chintu's life needs. Critically, she's not his secretary. She's a designer from Delhi, and as he says, she's out of his league. After a lifetime of being the dutiful son and husband, he decides to take some risks. He lies to Tapasya about Vedika having an affair and kicks off a comedy of errors. The story shuttles between Lucknow, Kanpur, and Delhi. We're in the same small town territory that actors like Ayushman Khurana and Rajkumar Rao have successfully made into a genre. We get the local sights and sounds, bazaars, malls, homes with open courtyards, and that specific Hindi. In one scene, Vedika says, "Hamare pati charitra hein ho gaye hain." In between the laughs, Mudassar attempts to weave in insights on marriage and relationships. Toward the end, we even get some preaching about why men should be faithful to their wives. But the story is too lightweight and too low IQ to carry complex ideas about men and women and what sustains or erodes a bond. For that, go to Noha Bombax's Marriage Story. Pati Patni or Wo works like a sitcom with sparkling dialogue and amusing characters. Apar Shakti Khurana, who's cornered the market on the buddy role, is terrific as Chintu's loyal friend. In one scene, he solemnly tells him, "Ye agni path hai, bro," and watch out for Shubham Kumar as Vedika's admirer Rakesh Yadav. I think the swaggering, lovelorn Rakesh deserves at least his own short film. Karthik Aryan, in thick mustache and staid check shirts, enthusiastically commits to being a personality-free pendu. Chintu is a bit of a dullard. The women are so much more dynamic, ambitious, and mature that you have to wonder why they're so invested in him. Ananya Pandey is asked to play a fantasy, and she manages that efficiently. But it's Bhumi Pednekar's spirited Vedika who lifts the material up a notch. Bhumi has an intelligence that rescues some of the silliest scenes in this film, especially in the climax. At one point, she forcefully says, "Zamana kul tau ka hai." I fully agree. Sunny Singh also makes the most of his brief role as the local bad boy named Doga. In life, I think a woman like Vedika would probably have dumped Chintu for Doga. Now that's a sequel worth considering. If you like this video, subscribe to Film Companion and don't forget to go on our website filmcompanion.in and check out this really interesting piece we've done on what went wrong with Hindi film music in the last decade.